So, you have a Wreck-It Ralph sequel script for me? Yes, sir, I do. Oh, so what happens in Wreck-It Ralph 2? Well, actually, I thought we could call it Ralph Breaks the Internet. Feels like Ralph Wrecks the Internet would be more appropriate, you know, because of his name. Right, but breaking the Internet is a popular thing that people say online. Oh, is that a thing? When did that become popular? Oh, please don't look it up. Okay, it says here that the term was popularized when Kim Kardashian did a naked photo shoot. I mean, yes, that is when the phrase really hit the mainstream. Doesn't feel super appropriate to name our movie that. Don't you think it's time to reclaim that phrase, though? Aren't you tired of naked butts dictating every single thing you do? I'm pretty sure you're the only one that's struggling with that, but okay. I'm just sick of naked butts controlling my life, you know? Anyway, so what's going on with the characters? Are Ralph and Vanellope still close? Oh yeah, they get together after work every day and spend their entire nights together. Oh. Not like that. Oh. Yeah, no, they're friends and they hang out. Are Felix and Calhoun gonna be in it? People love those characters from the first movie. They sure are, sir. Amazing. Yeah, and they adopt 15 kids so you can imagine the kind of hilarious hijinks they're gonna get into. I can imagine it. And you'll have to because they're barely in the movie. Oh, so anyway, a player is gonna break the steering wheel on Vanellope's game and so the owner of the arcade wants to sell the whole game for parts. Well, that's not good. Yeah, he says there's a replacement part on eBay for 200 bucks, but the game doesn't even make that in a year. So Ralph and Vanellope are gonna go to the internet? They're gonna go to the internet. Wow. Yeah, so then they get there and it's like this whole big cityscape. Oh, that sounds super super similar to what they did in the Emoji movie. Right, it's gonna be pretty similar to that, but ours is gonna be like a thousand times better. How can you be sure? Well, first of all, the Emoji movie is the Emoji movie. That's a good point. And also, they could only reference random stuff like Candy Crush and Just Dance, but we can reference Disney properties. Oh, that's a really good point. Right? And obviously, by reference, you mean... Advertise. Right, just making sure. So we're gonna have ads for Star Wars, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Zootopia, Big Hero 6. That's incredible. And it's all gonna be easy to incorporate because we're gonna have Vanellope go to ohmydisney.com. It's like, oh my god, but Disney is God, as it should be. Yeah, and we're gonna have this amazing scene where she runs into all the Disney princesses. That sounds amazing. Yeah, when we put that in the trailer, it's gonna wreck the internet. It's really gonna be the highlight of the movie. But do you think it's a little sad that the highlight of this movie is a scene that's all about other movies? No. Well, okay then. Anyway, so Ralph and Vanellope are gonna run around the internet and encounter a bunch of ads for websites, too. Why would we put ads for websites in here? Because it's product placement. Those websites will pay you to be featured. Money for me? Money for you. So you're saying that not only is this movie a commercial for other Disney properties, but also for a bunch of websites that'll pay me to be featured? That's right, sir. I want this movie made right now. I don't even want to hear the rest of the story. Oh, I'd love to tell you, though. Okay, but make it fast. I want to start making this money. Okay, so Ralph and Vanellope need to make a bunch of money online to pay for the steering wheel, right? Right. So they follow this super sketchy pop-up bad guy and that ends up leading them to a game called Slaughter Race and Vanellope absolutely falls in love with it. Wow, and that's a great message for kids. What is? That clicking on sketchy pop-up ads might seem a little scary at first, but ultimately you'll always get what you're looking for. That's a good point, yeah. That's how I met my wife, actually. Oh yeah? Yeah, she was a hot single in my area just waiting to chat with me. Everything always works out with pop-up ads. And another thing we're gonna do is have Ralph become a viral video star and make like $30,000 in a couple of hours. Oh, that's good. That way we can show kids that becoming popular on YouTube takes little to no effort. It is super easy, sir. So what else happens in the movie? Well, we're pretty much gonna have them run around and encounter a bunch of jokes relating to the internet. I feel like it's kind of risky to reference internet trends, though. What do you mean? Well, internet trends are notorious for being quickly forgotten, so won't the movie feel dated pretty quickly? Well, we're only gonna reference timeless internet jokes. Like, for example, we have a reference to Chewbacca Mom? What was Chewbacca Mom again? I don't fully remember, to be honest. Well, okay then. We're also gonna have a thing where Twitter is represented by actual birds. Oh, that's literally a thing in the Emoji movie. Well, we're gonna do it too. Hey, we should have a scene where Ralph reads the comment section on his videos and gets really sad. Why would that make him sad, though? Aren't people, like, really mean in comment sections? No, I don't think so. Really? All I ever see people write in the comment section is the phrase super easy, barely an inconvenience. Why would they write that? Yeah, I really don't know. Oh, I guess right writing super easy, barely an inconvenience in the comments section is tight. I guess it is. So how does the movie end? Well, at the end of the movie, Vanellope is gonna stay in the internet and Ralph is gonna go back home. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, well, they're still gonna have like a web video chat once a week, so they're still good friends. Ralph is still able to use internet devices when he's not in the internet? Sure. That works. So what do you think? I like it a lot. I mean, there's some fun stuff, but also some sad stuff, so it looks like you hit that balance really well. Thanks, yeah, I really crafted this with people's emotions in mind, you know, so we can 
precisely plan when they'll feel happy and when they'll feel sad. Well, it's not like something in an animated kids movie can be unexpectedly sad. Hey guys, it's Ryan here. Hope you enjoyed that pitch meeting. Many, many, many more of these on the channel that you can check out. You can also let me know in the comments section what other movies you'd like to see pitches for. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like, maybe share it on Facebook and Twitter. That helps us out a whole lot. And as always, check back soon for a new pitch. Bye-bye.